Guess what? It's coming up to Christmas, New Year's, everyone. The question on everyone's lips is what, what alcohol can, can we drink? We're in Australia. Oh, we need to drink. <laughs> what can we drink? Let's preface this by saying we don't drink much. We're not actually big drinkers. So sorry to burst your mm. bubble. We don't really care. <laughs> when, when we do drink though, I like yeah. to drink beer. Yeah. And Erica will probably have like a wine or a vodka. Yeah, so I like a Pinot Gris. I like Prosecco. Big Prosecco. Yeah, but I'm that's all not. About is that Pinot though? It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's dry. So any dry. I like a dry white wine. Um, if I'm drinking, a I drink like vodka with soda and like fresh lime. That's probably. And what your. We're not saying what specific beer you're drinking. Is that a secret? Or? Well, I've got some here that I'm going to taste <laughs> on camera. It could get messy by the end because, like we said, neither of us drink. So, And we've got drinks here to try. Okay. Just for you guys. I have tried two of these beers before. And I've got one that I don't know that I've really had before. So um, most beer... Not it's okay high. for keto. Yeah. About 10 grams of carbs Roughly. a beer. Yeah, that so, was what I was able to find. Yeah, so if you're wanting to have more than one, that makes it pretty tough to stick with eating anything <laughs> as well. <laughs> so we're going to start with the one highest in carbs, I think. And I'm pretty sure it's this one. Okay, so first off, Han Super Dry. Quite a common beer in Australia. I actually didn't realise that was low carb. Well, it's the super premium dry. Premium low carb. Okay, I think it's right. the super dry. So, the carbs on this is 2.2 for the bottle. Okay, so Not you could bad, right? work in, you could work in one or two of yeah. these into your day if you were looking at having a drink. Now, I don't think I've tried this one before. Oh. <laughs> Novice. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I don't like beer, by the way. Not a beer drinker. Oh, <laughs> that's not a good face. <laughs> Super dry. It smells oh. really beery. It tastes kind of weak to me. Like a watered down beer. Yeah, a little bit. Is that's that, the risk. Is that common with low carb beers? Yeah, it, it's the risk of. Um, so, apart from some of these ones you've got here, what are some other ones? Um, Steamers. Steeman's Blonde, I've found, um, and Brit or Bright, 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 Bright blonde. blonde. That's 1.9. So quite a few there options was quite, out there. I yeah. went to more bottle shops yeah. in the last week than <laughs> I've been in the last five years. <laughs> My brother would be disgusted because he <laughs> loves a beer. Um, but yeah, so they're the other ones that I found. There was probably maybe five or six different ones. Yeah, um, so, pure so, up, so this, this has probably, been my go-to. This is like easily available, right? And been around for a long time. And even on the cruise. The cruise yeah. yeah, so even on Carnival Cruise that we went on last year, they mm -hmm. had these and I drank these. I, I would have these if I felt like a beer. I don't mind a pure blonde. I haven't had one for a while because the last one has become my favourite. <laughs> so let's try this. They're going to have three open beers this <laughs> Well, how does it it's compare nicer. to the super dry? What's, I think it's what's nicer. different. It's just got more flavour mm -hmm. to me. Okay, now this is my favourite Burley Brewing Co. Big Head Beer. Now, if you're a beer drinker, I recommend going with this one. Mainly because it's zero carb. In Australia? I see it at most of the bottle shops okay. these days. You can get it at most places. You probably won't get it at a pub. No. You're probably going to have to buy it at like a bottle mm. shop. Um, but whereas Pure, Pure Blonde, Blonde you can get at a lot of pubs. So that's yeah. an easy Where option. we play trivia, they have Pure Blondes and we can get that easily. Um, okay. But this is zero carbs. I zero, mean, how I do you even have, do that? I don't know how they do it. Someone and needs really to contact hard. Burley Brewing Co. to find <laughs> Burley out. Burley Big Head Big lager. Head. Big Head. No carb lager. Here we go. Yeah, see, this one's the best. Why? Because it's just got more flavour. Okay, so not as watered down. Yeah, it doesn't taste like what my brother would call as piss weak beer or something. <laughs> it ta I think it tastes nice. Yeah. Uh, but I will premise that, that I'm not... A beer, a beer connoisseur. <laughs> craft person. I, I'm happy. But to, for a zero carb beer, I mean, how can you? You can 
<laughs> you can go to town on those bad boys. <laughs> Probably not. The other thing I will say about drinking and keto is yes. I mean, careful. I can never handle my alcohol. Be anyway, careful. But if you used to be able to drink five alcoholic drinks pre-keto, you're probably down to one or two, mm. and you're drunk. And potentially you can't drink a lot and expect to be losing weight on keto. I don't that, think. Yeah. Like if that's your goal. So yeah. just keep that in mind. But obviously it's Christmas, New Year's, let's have a couple of drinks and <laughs> yeah. that's fine. Now, cider. Very popular in Australia particularly. Bad Ciders news about the cider, are guys. very popular, especially with women. There's low carb and there's low sugar options, but they're still pretty high. The, about the lowest we could find, I think, was 10, 9, or 10 9 or 10 grams per And there's a bottle. lot out there. Yeah, there's a, quite a few and that were marked as low carb, low sugar. I mean, it's obviously that's a better option than traditional ciders, but it's not, yeah, it's not a great option, alcohol. -wise. And we looked at the uh, full strength ciders and mm. none of them have and any nutrition labels. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what a regular one I'm would be carb wise, you know, but it must be very high. But I mean, they're sweet and fruity. So well, they're apple, aren't they? Like sweet. apple cider or whatever. Yeah, they're different but, ones, yeah, but it's fruit. Quite often they're fruit, like strawberry flavored yeah. or something as yeah. well. So sorry, I wouldn't be bothering with the low carb ciders. Yeah. I mean, I would if you were going to have that rather than a regular cider. You could probably get away with not one, a good but it's option. Gonna be very difficult not a good to do option for keto. Three or four. Now, wines um, are generally a good option. You do need to count the carbs in it, and it varies depending on the variety and whatnot, so you just need to look into that. But you want to stick with dry, anything dry. Obviously, anything sweet is going to have more sugar in it. So champagne is a good option if you look for brut or extra brut because that's I think that means dry. I don't it? know. Right. In <laughs> French. Like in, French. <laughs> in French. Dry white wines. I like Pinot Gris, which Pinot Grigio. I think that's the same thing. Sauvignon Blanc, um, Chardonnay, as long as it's a dry one, not a sweet one. And then red wines. You want dry. So Merlot, Cab Sav, Pinot Noir. So. Just look, ask for a dry one if you're asking a waiter or something. Yeah, like if you're out for dinner, dry. Yeah, but oh, you can usually look online um, to get the carb counts if you're interested in a particular variety. Next up, spirits are probably the best if they're not mixed with sugary uh, mixes. Yeah. So if you Juice. <laughs> if you can do straight spirits on the yeah. rocks or something like that that is the best option or soda water like with soda water and a squeeze of fresh lime that's a really good option and yeah. that's yummy like a vodka with soda and fresh lime it's good so we did some research looking checking out some of the bottle shops of what kind of pre-mix pre-mixed options they had so yes. yes, you could just buy a bottle of bourbon and go to town. And a Diet Coke. And you'll be good set. To go. That's easy. <laughs> but a lot of people still like the pre-mixed drink, so we did I'm guessing some... by the number that... I mean, There's I thought, a lot we went, of to, when we were in Dan Murphy's for a long time mm. yesterday, and yes. I was blown away by the options so, in the pre-mix section. What we found, Woodstock bourbon, zero... Woodstock zero bourbon sugar. and zero sugar cola yep. in cans. Yep. Bundaberg rum and zero sugar cola in cans. Jack um, Daniels. And zero sugar. All of those in premix. So those are all perfect, like good options. Yeah, right? if you drink Pepsi Max or Diet Coke, these are fine for you to be drinking. Yeah. Um, um, what in else? The, in the vodka lines, there was Smirnoff Ice Double Black Zero Sugar. That which sounds is like scary a, to me. It's like a citrusy vodka drink, but it's quite, it's stronger. Than is double black just strong? I think it's means stronger, okay. yeah. Um, there was, what else? So these, these ones, ones here, God, that I'm going to have to try. <laughs> so UDLs have these zero sugar options. This one, strawberry and lime. And then what was the Mixed other berry. one? Mixed berry. Um, here, Here we, we go. go. <laughs> I think Eric is scared. I feel like I was at school. Where was the last, last time, time I had a drink UDL? Like I was at school, I'm sure. <laughs> Definitely. Underage not. drinking. Oh, it's strong. Oh. oh, I don't like the smell of that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Takes you back to your teenage years. The problem with these is they don't taste like alcohol to me. Like yeah, you so can just be like, mm. 
Is there a carb count on that? None? Zero. Zero. I, I don't like drink. strawberry, like strawberry yeah, flavored things in general, so I'm not a big fan. But it's not bad. It doesn't have like a bad sweet. Does it just feel or... like a soda? Mm -hmm. Like a, I don't want to taste it. I'm drinking beer. It just tastes like a diet strawberry drink. So this, yeah. So you can get these UDLs, which is vodka and zero sugar soft drink. So there's strawberry and lime and mixed berry, and then another option oh, is these open. vodka cruises in sugar free and we found three different flavors so there was peach and mango mixed berry and then a citrus blend um so i went with peach and mango <laughs> you're probably gonna like that more than the strawberry, uh, the strawberry and lime yeah probably oh it smells all right strong <laughs> you could drink that Stronger yeah. alcohol taste or not? No, it doesn't taste, just tastes like cordial to me. <laughs> yeah, actually I prefer this one to that one. It's flavour wise, but I don't like strawberry. So if you like strawberry, you might like that one. But I mean, these are two awesome options if you go into a barbecue or something and you just yeah. want to chuck something in. So you don't have to give up the alcohol. Um, there was another one too. Oh, Cana 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 Canadian <laughs> Club. And dry zero sugar. So I think that's whiskey and dry ginger ale that's sugar free. I've never really okay. known about it, but it's very popular. Why are we doing oh. this video? Oh. <laughs> because Cause everyone keeps asking us. <laughs> the, I went to a party, a Christmas party, on um, a couple of days ago. Everyone was drinking Canadian Club. I've never. It must really, be cool with the kids. It these must days. be cool with the kids these days. Anyway, we are not cool <laughs> or with the kids. Um, <laughs> So that's our alcoholics yes. guide for alcohol, mainly for Australians. Alcohol drink, alcoholics. It sounds bad. Yeah. Alcoholic drinks guide. So, yes, there's plenty of options out there. You just have to think about what you're doing and avoid cider, unfortunately. Yeah. And just be <laughs> aware that you may not be drinking like you used to. If yes, you've been in that's keto a good for point. a while and you only drink at Christmas or something, you could yeah. be like the weird auntie that's passed out in the corner <laughs> <laughs> cocktails wise this is tricky that's very hard um because most of them have sugar syrup juices or like a sweetened uh soft drink or something in them liqueurs generally are sweetened as well so we do we'll put a link to our blog post below that has some cocktail recipes in it yeah. so if you're having christmas at your place you can come up with a nice keto friendly cocktail that's a great idea so things like baileys and Kahlua and stuff they're liqueurs aren't mm. they they're kind of really difficult yeah that's why they're so delicious yeah, because they're, they're like sweet, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um we hope that this has helped you navigate the bottle shop in just in time for the silly season and if you all found something that we haven't found yes. please put in the comments below yes, we, so we did our research but you know we're novices in and this area. we didn't go to all of the different bottle shops i think we went to dan murphy's bws and liquorland so there might be some that you've found elsewhere that yeah, you really like. Yeah, particularly, I was trying to find, I was like, surely there's a cocktail, because you know how the, 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 cocktail the cocktail mixes that you add your alcohol to? I no. was sure there would be, someone's come up with like a sugar-free, low-calorie one or something. Nothing. So if there is one, let us know. Yeah, please put in the comments so other people can find them. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. We like. hope it was useful. <laughs> <laughs> like it if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel for more um, awesome videos coming out. Thank Thanks, you. guys.